But this isn't science fiction. This is reality. And it's happening today. Afternoon. Maybe daylight time will be. So three years ago, we started a Kickstarter to finally deliver on the dream of virtual reality. Your subconscious would say, don't worry. It's just an image on a screen. It's a video game on a screen. And with the Oculus Rift, we're able to cross that threshold. This is going to change everything. This is the Oculus Rift. It's light. You can hold it with one hand. Oculus Rift is going to deliver the magic of presence, the feeling of actually being there. We've designed a custom display and optic system that enables us to achieve comfortable presence. It features two OLED screens. So as you look around, there's no motion blur, there's no judder, there's no pixels. It also features a wide field of view and a new constellation tracking system. You have very precise low latency movement. You put it on and you feel like you're there. There's an external sensor that you put on your desk. You plug it into the back of your computer and you're all set. That's it. Incredibly simple and easy to use. Developers are going to be able to create all kinds of revolutionary experiences. Some seated, some standing. And the Rift features an integrated audio system. All that audio must be spatialized. It must be 360. We know that some people want to bring their own headphones. So we've made them really easy to take right off. You're going to put it on like a baseball cap. Everybody has a different distance between their eyes. So we've added a nice convenient dial that allows you to adjust the lens distance. And we've evolved the form factor to better accommodate glasses. It's all wrapped in fabric. Now what about VR input? We wanted a device that developers and gamers understood that we're going to include a wireless Xbox One controller and adapter. At Microsoft, we're incredibly focused on making Windows a great operating system for gamers. And with DirectX 12, working with Oculus, we believe we'll be able to create state-of-the-art virtual reality experiences on the Oculus Rift on top of Windows. Stream. Xbox One games to Windows 10 devices. That same streaming capability will be available for Oculus Rift. Games like Halo, Forza, Sunset Overdrive, to the Oculus Rift using the controller that they know and love. But a VR platform really isn't worth that much unless there's incredible content. It's great to be here and be a part of building the future of VR. In fact, our company vision is to create virtual worlds more meaningful than real life. E-Valkyrie is the closest thing you're going to get to being a real spaceship fighter pilot. Get in a ship, launch, and flight. And because Valkyrie is built from the ground up for VR, it shows, showcases everything that's great about VR. When you put on your Rift and jump into Valkyrie, you're immersed in a 360-degree cockpit experience. It launches next year. Launching in three, two, one. You got back to Hello, my name is David Adams and I work at Gunfire Games. It's called Kronos. Let's have a look. Kronos is an atmospheric RPG that plays out of the course of a young man's life. You'll explore old ruins, vast caverns, and ancient tombs in search of the labyrinth secrets, powers, and treasures. I'm Ted Price from Insomniac Games. Edge of Nowhere is Insomniac's brand new third-person action-adventure exclusively for the Rift. So Edge of Nowhere has been designed for VR from day one. Now, as someone who's been skeptical of VR, I've become a believer. Yet I don't think that happens until you put on a headset and dive into one of these worlds yourself. We'll have more fantastic titles at E3. Damage Core by High Voltage, bringing the first person shooter into VR. VR Sports Challenge by Senzaru, the football, baseball, basketball, and hockey simulator we all want and expect on the Rift. Esper from CodeSync, a game that gives you a taste of what it'd be like to have telekinetic powers. Air Mech by Carbon, 
amped up for riff. Is it an RTS or is it real life? And of course, Lucky's Tale from Playful, a game that most of you have already fallen in love with. They're going to be available on Rift next year. We're partnering with a huge number of developers and publishers on games and experiences tailored specifically for the Rift. And at Oculus, we're committed to building the best platform for VR games. Anyone can be a creator. Over the last three years, we've worked closely with both Unity and Epic Games to make Unity 5 and Unreal Engine 4 amazing tool sets for Oculus. Native support is free, and it works right out of the box. We created Oculus Share, a portal where developers can share their games, experiments, and first forays into VR. Today, I'm pleased to announce that we will be investing more than $10 million toward accelerating the development of these sorts of innovative, one-of-a-kind, independent games on the Rift. We're developing new system software for the Rift that we call Oculus Home. It brings all your Rift games together in one place. We've designed it to be lightweight and efficient. When you put on the Rift, you're going to drop straight into Oculus Home. We can put you straight into a VR preview of the game before you even buy it. Home also lets you see what your friends uh, are doing in the Rift and what they're playing right now. And I can join them directly from VR. We've also built a 2D interface for Oculus Home. Manage your games and downloads without putting the headset on. And you'll be able to get your Rift Q1 2016. There's just one more thing. I've seen thousands of people inside the Rift now. And one of the first things that a lot of people do is they reach out. We wanted to create an input device that actually lets people reach out. This is Oculus Touch. These are feature prototypes for Oculus Touch. We wanted to deliver hand presence. Once you have your hands involved, you really need tracking to be absolutely perfect. Precise manipulation of virtual entities. We wanted a design that was low mental load. We also wanted to enable communicative gestures, proven traditional inputs. Oculus Touch needed to be lightweight and ergonomic. Uh, there's two controllers. They're wireless. Each of these Half Moon controllers has a traditional analog thumbstick, two buttons, and an analog trigger, the hand trigger. Imagine using this to pick up a virtual gun and then using your index finger to fire it. Touch also includes haptics that developers can use to deliver feedback when you're interacting with objects in the virtual world. Touch can detect a set of finger poses using a matrix of center, sensors mounted throughout the inside of the device. They work to recognize natural hand poses, like pointing, waving, or giving a thumbs up. And one of the coolest things about Toybox is that it's a social experience. It's a multiplayer experience. You're actually in a space with another person using the controllers far away. But you feel like you're in the same place. If you were to show someone a video of this event today and showed it to someone three or four years ago, they would have thought that it looked like a science fiction film. Afternoon, the daylight time will be. 